All right, don't blame the messengers, but on this Groundhog Day, we have some bad news for you. And it's not what you want to hear, right? It looks like we're going to be putting up, putting away, not putting away our winter clothes for a while. I see my royal shadow. Six more weeks of winter to go. Speaking through his human friends, Punxsutawney Phil gave us that bad news from Pennsylvania earlier this morning. And yes, he did see a shadow. It really was no shock. Records show that Phil has predicted winter more than 100 times. Thanks, Phil. In an early spring, only 18 times. Even Woodstock Willie had bad news this morning. He also saw his shadow. We, he'll still have some fun, though. The movie Groundhog Day was filmed in Woodstock 25 years ago, and there are a ton of celebrations and events this weekend. The movie's to check those 25 out. years old. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Mm -hmm. But also, did you know that Punxsutawney Phil has a wife, and her name's Phyllis? <laughs> I learned that this morning. Phyllis I think it's Phil Punxsutawney. <laughs> By the way, uh, it's not random that it's six in terms of the weeks of winter because there's actually six, six more weeks, yeah. weeks of winter. <laughs> it's not a guess. Until <laughs> spring officially begins. Now, the only difference is uh, meteorological spring begins at the very beginning of March. So what we're looking at here in our weather watcher department is 14 degrees. This one's coming in from Nancy Addy. She sends us a pretty picture, but I didn't hit that button right. So there we go with a few more temperatures in Willow Springs, Robert Herman has zero degrees. Let's take a peek at what's going on out there right now. Uh, we're looking at a pretty sunny day, but it is not comfortable. It is bitterly cold out there. We're dealing with very, very cold temperatures. Nothing like Yakutsk, though. Look at this. They're down to minus 44 there while we're coming in in the low teens. Feels like numbers, though, much colder coming in in the negatives. Single digit negatives, but negatives nonetheless. I've got a very cold setup that's going to continue for us. We could have periods here of time with sub-zero wind chills and several snow chances through next Wednesday. There's nothing on the radar picture right now, but watch the future cast. We get a little bit of snow uh, Saturday evening. We get a touch more on off to the east. Uh, very early Sunday morning. We continue to see some snow filtering down early Sunday morning and then a little bit more. And you can see it just kind of comes in waves. Nothing's particularly heavy, but there are waves of snowfall equaling probably one to two inches for most of us. Uh, maybe Maybe two to three in the white shaded area and the purple will be added a little bit of lake effect in and that will uh, up those numbers a little bit. But today the high temperature right around 19, but it feels colder than 19 and it's not like 19 feels warm anyway. We're going up to 37 tomorrow, but also began that active weather pattern, which stretches into the middle of next week. I like how you slipped that in there, that active weather pattern. You like that? <laughs> that I want to focus good. on it too much. Right. <laughs> not good. a lot of snow this weekend though, but yeah. rounds of it. Got it. Good. Thanks, Meg.